today I'm going to speak about three stories that have to do with Jimmy Burke. For most of you who watch the movie Goodfellas, you know who Jimmy is. I personally know Jimmy's family very well. His daughter, Robin, is my son's godmother. She had told me of a time when she was young and they were visiting her father in Lewisburg Penitentiary, which is a federal prison. She was with her mother and sister that day. And at some point during the visit, either her or her sister spilled the drink all over the visiting room floor. Back then, the guards, or hacks as they called them, were rough and disrespectful. Well, this one guard walked over to Jimmy's table and said to him, Burke, go clean that up right now. Jimmy looked at him and then told his wife, Mickey, take the kids and go. Robin told me as they were walking out, she looked back over her shoulder and she watched her father walk over, grab a broom and crack the guard in the head with it. The second story took place in Wendy's correction facility, which is a state prison. A guy I knew was there with Jimmy Burke. One day in the yard, Jimmy was playing pinochle with three other guys. This younger guy was standing by the table watching the card game. Jimmy had a pack of cigarettes on the table. In prison, like everywhere else, you don't touch what don't belong to you. So this kid, without asking, takes the pack of cigarettes, takes one out and lights it. Jimmy watched him do it and didn't say a word. He continued playing the hand. And when the hand was over, he got up and knocked the kid out cold. Before he was in Wendy, he was in Easton Correction Facility, or Napanak, or Happy Nappy, as they say. Unfortunately, he was diagnosed with cancer at Easton. He was being treated at Westchester Medical Center. And the nurses at the hospital were so good to him that his family sent them a big fruit basket to show their appreciation. The correction officers that were guarding Jimmy witnessed the delivery of the fruit basket. In turn, they reported it to the watch commander back at the prison. Consequently, they said Jimmy was a security risk and transferred him to Wendy. And to receive his treatments, he would be driven shackled the 357 miles and six hours back to Westchester Medical Center. And then after his treatment, the same ride back to Wendy which for him was over 12 hours being shackled in a car. I'll end the video on this note. The story I mentioned with the pinochle game, when Jimmy knocked the kid out for disrespecting him, he did so while he was diagnosed with the cancer. Mm -hmm.